Hello, today I'd like to show you how to make a three-dimensional bow tie block, maybe it looks better that way, um, using five inch squares. So you can see that there is a little bit of dimension here, this middle bit um, is kind of like little pockets you can, probably wouldn't use as a pocket, but it's three-dimensional in that regard. So I'm using five inch squares because uh, that's a quite a good size, I like five inch squares, and Today I'd like to show you how to make that. So to make this block, and this block, you, if you use 5 inch squares, it makes up a 9.5 inch measuring block, which will finish at 9 inches when it's sewn into something. So today I'll show you with my pieces down here, and you need to have a total of 5 5 inch squares, 3 of the same one if you're making this sort of more traditional colouring of, um, of the bow tie, and 2 of what would probably be a background fabric. So in this case that light one is my background. So taking the one that's going to be in the middle, that's going to form this little 3D bit, you want to take that and place it right side down because you're going to fold it in half with the wrong sides together. Now you don't need to press it or anything, in fact you don't want to press it, and you're going to place that on top of, this. these fabrics are all sitting right side up, so you're going to place that on top of one of your other ones so that those top edges all line up, and then one of the background pieces you're going to flip over so that they're all right sides together. And now I'm going to just sew that with my quarter inch seam allowance down there and that's including this little bit here. So I'll just take this to the machine now and sew down there. So just your quarter inch seam allowance is good. Now I'm going to take that back over here and I'm going to get my next piece ready to piece in. It's going to look a little strange because now we want to sew the same thing this, this way around. So you want to place that on the colour again and place your light one right sides together with that. So, you, so you'll end up with this very strange looking thing and one of these should be the green and one should be your light and the same on the other side. But for now we're going to place that all together so that this these edges are all level at the top here and down here. Place that one on so it's right side down and we're going to sew down this seam here. So again with a quarter inch. So this is such a fun block to make and it can look very traditional if you want to use it in traditional fabrics or you can do something a little bit more um, funky I guess, a little bit different with the different fabrics that are around and I'll show you a couple of samples shortly. So now you've got this very strange looking piece. So this is folded so that's can't double at the moment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open out this folded bit and we're going to bring this this seam together with this seam so they should just you should be able to just feel them and they should just it should just sit together nicely so that that seam butts against itself there so your seam allowance will be going one way this way and the other way on the other underside you'll notice I haven't actually pressed anything at this stage now you may find you want to pop a pin in there one of the rare occasions when I might use a pin hopefully it won't get me, pins always get me now this funny little bit here what we're trying to do is get that double edge there to sit along this edge here because we want to sew it so that it's all level with the edge and this one over as well so you may find you want to put another pin in there um, I'm not going to at this stage but you could easily pop a pin just to hold that in place because you don't want it disappearing away it tends to want to disappear away from you so now we're going to sew we are going to sew all the way along but I'm going to take it to the machine now and just sew up to where the pin is or maybe just a couple of stitches past the pin before I position the other bit because I don't like to use too many pins this is how I do it so just make sure that hasn't slipped away that little folded bit in there and with your quarter inch seam allowance just come along here Oh, your seams are sitting right. 
and you just go just past the pin if you've got a needle down that's helpful to leave your needle down and now you want to pull this funny little bit that's pulling itself down there you want to pull that out just the same as you did on the on the other side so that it's pulled so that you can pull to the extent of its ability to pull and then place this one down over the top and continue on that seam to the end of the block. And we've pretty much made the block already. It's that quick and easy. So this is the fun part because you think, oh, all that messing around in there. But in actual fact, when you pull that out, that just pulls out beautifully and that just sits. You can see these are little 3D bits here. They're just like little pockets there. Now I am going to press it, but I like to wait on this particular one to press it because I need to see which way my seams are going to comfortably sit. It seems to be just a little bit having a mind of its own, this block. So I'm now going to take it to the iron and just give it a light press. Now I don't want to really press those down hard, so I'm just going to press the seam around everything so that it's all sitting quite comfortably. You can press it down hard if you want to, of course, um, but I kind of like it sitting up a little bit. So then I'm going to just take it to the other side and just very lightly, I'm not really pressing that, I'm just hovering over it just so that the seams sit nice. And so there is our bow tie block. So there's that other one that I had there to show you. You can position them lots of different ways. They can go all sorts of ways. There's lots of different traditional layouts for the bow tie block. Um, and I'd like to show you a quilt that I've made using this um, same sort of procedure for making the block using five inch squares, um, but it's not done in the traditional way. So this is a, a quilt that I've made entirely using five inch squares. Um, and there's a little bit of applique on it, some stars, but otherwise it's black and white with these colours. And these are my little little bits. So this block here, for instance, is made of three, three black squares and one white. And the centre square is a completely different colour. So, and if, so if you look all over it, you can see that I have done, like this one here is the more, it's got the two white and the two black. And a colour in the middle is the folded bit there. So you can have a lot of fun working out different ideas with this block and different colours. It doesn't have to be traditional if you don't like to do traditional, but of course if you prefer traditional, I can show you a sample of something done in traditional way. Um, this one actually is not done with 5 inch squares. You can make this block with any size square, they, they just all need to be the same size square. Um, and this is a table runner that I've made here using two and a half inch squares. Now I wouldn't use anything any smaller than two and a half inch to make this block because it gets very, very fiddly. So two and a half is a little bit borderline. Three, three and a half is quite a nice size to use. Otherwise, of course, I like my five inch squares. So this is the table runner that's got these little bow ties in a slightly more traditional look. And you can see that they've got these nice little bits that sit up. It just gives us a little bit of interest. And so that's my three dimensional bow tie block with five inch squares. Thank you.